My name is Sarah Halbrand and I am the Aquatics Curator at the Greensboro Science Center. In our Amazon exhibit, we feature two white blotched river stingrays. Their names of Hodor and Papaya. Hodor is our 10 year old male and Papaya is our three year old female. She recently came to us from the Georgia Aquarium where she was recommended to breed with Hodor through our SSP or the Species Survival Plan for the White Blotched River Ray. So Wednesday afternoon around 11 a.m. Uh, Papaya had a single pup. We were very surprised to find that Papaya was pregnant. Uh, we had been monitoring her closely and her interactions with Hodor and hadn't seen any successful relations between the two of them. It's always exciting to have newborns in a facility and one of the things we have to do is really monitor the consumption of food and their growth very closely. So shortly thereafter of being born, we wanted to move the pup into a nursery where we could closely monitor her food intake as well as her growth patterns. On the afternoon of May 3rd, we decided to go ahead and remove the pup from mom because we wanted to monitor both consumption of food as well as growth and weight gain. So when river rays are born, their pups are fully functioning stingrays at that point. And so they're going to act just like the parents do. They're going to be quick to swim away when they're nervous or scared of something. They're also going to be really good at hiding and burying themselves because that's one of their defenses at that stage is hiding from predators. So not only did we have to catch our little pup, but we also had to closely look through the rest of the system to see if we had any other unexpected babies. So before we put the new pup into her nursery, we wanted to get accurate measurements on her body length and width as well as her weight. So currently she is 10 by 10 centimeters wide. And as for the total length, including the tail, that's 17 centimeters. And she weighed in at 73.6 grams. We are really excited for Hodor and Papaya because this is their first offspring this species is listed as vulnerable under the IUCN and we're really excited to be sharing this conservation message with our guests.